All right. So last example here. We're not going to plug anything into this one. We're just simply going to graph it. But it'll be exciting because we've got three pieces to this one. So I have f of x is equal to my three pieces, the line x plus 1. So remember, I mean, we've just assumed it, and I haven't said it to this point because I made that assumption, but maybe we should denote any time you have this f of x, because that's your net function notation, then that's the same thing as a y, right? So this very first function up here is like y equals x plus 1. So that's how I keep saying it's a line. And this happens if x is less than or equal to 2. My middle function here is y equals 3, so it's that constant function. But it only happens if 2 is less than x, which is less than or equal to 4. And lastly, I have my function of negative 2x plus 7. But that only happens if x is greater than 4. All right? So here's our charge with this. We want to graph the piecewise defined function. Oops, there's no dash there. It's one word, piecewise defined function. And we are going to then state the domain and range. Lastly, we're going to determine if the domain is continuous. So is the function continuous over the domain? That says domain. Let's try again. All right. I don't know. Let's graph this guy and see what's happening with it. That's how we'll know. All right. So let's do this right now. I'm going to make this smaller, and I'm going to see about making a, a bigger graph here, maybe. We're going to go by ones again. So that's one, two, three, etc. Okay, so let's do this thing. Now, we know how to graph a line, right? And the reason why I like cheater lines is because then you can pull that off. Um, what's also helpful whenever you're just graphing this, so we haven't, all the other problems, we've had points that we've been able to rely on and we can help out with that. For these, to graph these piecewise functions, I think sometimes it's nice to graph the end points, figure out the end points, and by end points I mean like the end of your piece, figure out these end points and then you can graph from there. So tip, find the end points and graph from there. There's your tip on how to graph these, all right? So, for step one up here, I wanna find my end point, so I wanna know what's happening, and I'm gonna come down here at f of two on this x plus one. Y is equal to x plus one function. f of two will be two plus one, so f of two is equal to three. Now, looking at what I have up here, is this going to be an open or a closed circle? Closed circle. Because it's an or equal to. So I have the point two, three. Two, one, two, three. And it is a closed circle. And I know that I want all of the values that are less than that two. That means I'm going here to the left direction. My slope is a one. So I'm going in this direction with that slope of 1 because it's a line. Sweet. Now let's do this middle part. 
Oopsie daisy. So I know that's a constant line, right? Y equals three. So between two and four, I know this would be a circle that I'm looking at, but I'm going up here to four, which is a closed dot because it's or equal, and it's just this line, y equals three, right? So then that's going to be, this is your constant horizontal line. Good. Lastly, we'll go black, just so that we can keep our colors going. But the same thing that's happening there is for my graph here, of y is equal to a negative 2x plus 7. I want to plug in f of 4 so we see what's happening. Negative 2 times 4 plus 7. So f of 4 here is going to be negative 8 plus 7, giving me a negative 1. Because this is an, just an greater than symbol, is that going to be an open or a closed dot? Open dot. Good. Okay. So I know that where my point is four, negative one. Oh, dang. Come on back here, you little crazy. At four, negative one, this is going to be a nice open dot. Oh, shoot. Doggone. There it is. Nice open dot. And... My graph has a slope of negative 2, so I'm going to go down 2 and over 1. That dot is closed because it's part of my graph. The only open dot is the one that it starts with because the only value that's not included is that 4, right? So then that's the only one that's open. Good. Good, good. So uh, the first thing I was charged with was graphing this piecewise function. The next thing I'm charged with is to state the domain and the range. Remember, the domain are your x values and the range are your y values. So, let's do this. What is the domain? Remember, we said look at your arrows. What's happening with this arrow? goes on forever in that direction. What's happening with this arrow? Goes on forever in that direction. What is the actual x values of this function? The actual x values are from negative infinity to positive infinity, yes. Now, don't worry about continuity at this point, that's the next question there, right? So what is my range? What are the y values that work for this function. So we know the arrows are pointing down, so I'm going from negative infinity up to three, good. So right up here to three, because that's the topmost value. So from negative infinity up to three, and there's a bracket on that, because three is included, because it's solid. Now the real question that we're looking at is this continuous over that domain? And the answer is no, right? Because I'm jumping right here. So to answer that question, we're going to say that, oops, I'm going to go green. So this is not continuous over the domain. There is a, you know what, I don't know why I'm writing it like that. Let's get this over here where we can mess with it a little bit more. Sorry, guys. Let's try this again. Let's write it over here. Not continuous over the domain. There is a discontinuity at x equals 4. Because that's where my graph jumps. And there it is. P 
piecewise defined functions. Piecewise defined functions simply means I'm going to take a little piece of this function, a little piece of this function, and a little piece of this function, and I'm going to put all of those together to make one graph. Good. You guys got this. Now work on your homework, check through this, and then I'll see you on Friday.